it's not justified and there's no reconciling of it it makes no sense that the government would apply for an injunction on behalf of the Labour Department that would clearly also benefit the stevedores. Then we go there the next day and rough up the stevedores. The instructions to the Commissioner of Police from myself were clear. Those people, as long as they're being peaceful, are allowed to remain on that compound till at least 2 o'clock till we hear the ruling of the court. My instructions to the Commissioner was clear. I am sure that his instructions to his commander was also clear because there was a three-way phone call where I had myself, the commissioner, and the commander for that, for that division. And the instructions were clear that those persons were to remain there until at the very least the court had ruled. Somebody, some police officer or police officers decided upon themselves, obviously, to ignore those instructions. And that is why currently we have told the head of the union, go to the police station, make a report. Those police officers will be charged after they are arrested because they ignored a direct order and some direct instructions from the commissioner and their commander. An investigation will be done and somebody will be made to pay. At least one person will be made to pay when it comes to that incident because the instructions were absolutely clear. Leave those people on that compound until the court has ruled. Whoever read that riot act was reading it not on behalf of the state, but on behalf of themselves. And we will do an investigation. We have already started that investigation. And like I said, they will be held to pay because under no world, under no sky, and in no world would I send the police department to rough up and arrest Stevie Doors on behalf of the vampire Michael Ashcroft and his Belizean minions. That would never happen in a million years. But it happened. But it happened, and so somebody will feel the wrath of the government within the police department. I can assure you of that.